Hello everyone, I invite you to stay tuned to show you how easy it is to assemble this banana pudding and strawberry pudding made with homemade jelly and some delicious fresh strawberries with strawberry crumble. So stay tuned. Learn how to make this banana pudding. Check the link down below. I show you everything step by step recipe. You also need some fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. You need, I'm going to use a strawberry jam that I made myself. And I got this recipe from Mositos Cakes. So uh, check out the link down below if you want to learn how to make your own strawberry jam. And uh, you can use any toppings that you want. I am using here my strawberry crumble. If you're interested, I have a private class on this. So just in the comments below, send put uh, down your email and I will send you all the information for that. Okay, so we're gonna start. So okay. we're gonna start with the banana I think they can see me. pudding. Yeah, well they can see you here. So what you do is, of course, you have your pudding already nice and ready. So you're just gonna grab a spoon, depending on where you're you're placing them. That looks delicious. It's delicious. Can I try some? After? Yes, after. My little taste tester. Can't wait. Whoops. Cheese As you can you. see, the cookie's nice Look, and cheese. soft and delicious. May I speak, please? Sure. My mom. My mom knows what it. My mom knows when I'm not. In, my mom knows when I'm impatient to try something. Okay. But I'm gonna have to wait. So just like that. Okay. Can you bring us some more extra cookies? From the pantry of these. This way, this way, this way. No, I'm better over here. Okay. So the banana uh, pudding one, you just basically grab your uh, ready banana pudding and you put it in a cup. You can do that or you can assemble the layers when you're making the banana pudding already in the cup. But I like it this way already because that's way it assures me that the cookies and everything is nice and moist and soft and ready. Okay. Add a little bit more here. Get them up. And then at the top, I'm just gonna add a cookie here on the side, like that. Okay. Smiley faces. Huh? Can you make smiley faces? Yeah, and then I'm just gonna crumble up a little bit for the top, just for that extra crunch. Okay, so just like that. That's and then you put any spoon that you want. I'm gonna put a wooden spoon mm -hmm. and check that out. That looks like we cute. have our banana pudding cup. And I really love this idea because um, it's already it's self-serve. You don't have to be cutting or digging into anything, not using any extra spoons or anything. You just have it ready. So next we're gonna assemble the strawberry one. Can I do that one? Sure, you're gonna add the toppings, okay? So same thing, but on this one, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I am going to add just a thin layer of your banana pudding. I'm gonna grab the jam. And I'm just gonna put it on the edge because we want it visible. Yeah, you can try it right now. Not taste it. <laughs> you don't want to taste, taste it all together? It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay, so then I'm going to grab another layer I'm of right the now. strawberry pudding. That looks delicious. Doesn't it look great? Yummy. Just like that and then I'm going to add Can I something? you're going to add you want to add the crumble you could add the crumble with your fingers since it's gonna be yours Actually, this one we're gonna put it on the side so I'm just gonna add a little bit on the top and kind of move it around so it can drizzle 
and then help it around you. Okay, Jenna says you wanna do the crumble on top. The crumble mm -hmm. is definitely optional. Okay, so add some crumble. With your fingers, just crumble, uh, sprinkle some crumble, just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. When you, mean, when, you're, when you tell your, when you tell um your children a little bit, they put a lot. <laughs> yeah, they always do above and beyond. Okay, now you want to do the strawberry. Where do you want to put the garnish? At? How do you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Careful, it's gonna fall. Stab. Right there. Step right here. Oops. No, my strawberry. My hand then one put a smiley face. <laughs> it's a Genesis cat. has a thing for smiley faces on food. <laughs> <laughs> so check that out. Nice. I oh I should I tell them? What? Um, because when we were doing cookies for Easter, I got like five of them. I got like five M and M's. I put two of them for the eyes, and then all three of them for the mouth. <laughs> yeah, Genesis <laughs> loves that. So check it out. How it's easy, how simple that looks. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a cat. <laughs> delicious, delicious, right? It looks like a cat, mom. Wait, no, this one looks like a cat. Okay. If you put, if you put the extra strawberries, then it won't. Okay. So we're gonna do one I more. Can I do it myself? Okay, Genesis is gonna show you guys. One that she does on her own. Okay. So as you can see, this is very mm -hmm. easy for the kiddos. Yeah. They can help you out. Mm-hmm. Are you going to put that. jelly? No. No, jelly, okay. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. that you guys like as okay. toppings. So put mm -hmm. it right here so everybody can see. Okay. Get some of these. Do my thing for doing my thing. I don't know why I put the ice like that. Wink. Wink and wink. It's like an evil face. <laughs> and then I put these right here. There you go. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, and, then, um, and then um, I'm going to put the crumble inside. Okay, go for it. And then I'm going to put some strawberries. Da 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 da. Okay, now, next thing, the nose, yoink, there, now it's Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she kind of did like a little happy face here. It's cute, cute, cute. Definitely get creative with these mm. cups. Very easy to do, uh, very simple. We hope that you guys enjoy this little video that we did assembling uh, banana pudding and strawberry pudding cups. Like I said, the links on how to make it will be in the description below. The link will be to put to make your own jam also in the link below. And for the strawberry crumble, make sure to contact me on that. So make sure to leave your email down below and I will send you a link for that. Delicious. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Happy baking.